you all tonight in the name of Jesus. It is that time of prayer again in the presence of God. So I would like you to invite your family, invite your kids, invite your wife, invite your husband, share the video. Let us all tap into the presence God, in the presence of God and just start worshiping God. Start believing God for a new thing to take place in our life. I invite you tonight, just invite your family. Come on, invite your children. Gather them in your living room. Gather them in whichever room in your your house and let's just pray let's just worship the lord of lords but tonight before we start prayer i just want us uh, i just want to give a word of encouragement as, the, as our pastor, the Lord has already spoken to him about uh, this 31 days of prayer. It is for us to be able to uh, overcome certain things in our life. The Lord has already promised us in this year that it shall be a year of dominion. But with what is happening around, uh, some of us are puzzled. Some of us have even installed fear in our heart thinking, how are we going to dominate in this such a time? So I just want you tonight to be courageous because when we think about the scripture, in first Samuel chapter 17 David said went to the king and said to the king what shall be given unto the men that shall over uh, that shall be able to kill Goliath so David understood that before I could get what I needed in my life I needed to deal with Goliath in my life I needed to deal with the Goliath that has been standing before my life before my marriage so the king said to David I'll just quickly read the second half of the scripture it says the king said will give great wealth to the man who kills him. He will also give him his daughter in marriage and will be exempted to his family for taxes in Israel. So you get to understand uh, that it is when David dealt with Goliath uh, that his wealth he shall be able to have access to. That his marriage he shall be able to have access to his marriage. Uh, that whatever Goliath will be standing before his children, before the successor of his kids, uh, David as he deals with them he shall be able to have peace in his life. So tonight I just want you to be courageous and understand that throughout this 31 days of prayer, every Goliath that has been standing before my blessing, that has been standing before my job, that has been standing before my health, I will deal with you by the power in the presence of God. And we then ask ourselves, how did David do it? How did David overcome Goliath? It was by the presence of God upon his life. So tonight I just want us to focus on the presence of God, the presence uh, that destroys, the presence uh, that heals. So as we read also in, in, in Exodus chapter 13 where Minister Isaac read on Sunday 21 to 22, it, it, it reads that uh, during the day the Lord worked with the Israelite. He worked with them as evidence that God was with them. There was a pillar upon them during the day and at night there was a pillar of fire. During the day it was a pillar of cloud but at night it was a pillar of fire. It wasn't only just the presence of God that was there but it gave them the light. It gave them the light during the night. It gave them power during the day. It says even when they, were, they, they, they found themselves between the Red Sea and the soldiers of Pharaoh, the presence of God in, in interfered and said to Moses just open up your road to the Red Sea so this is just to tell you that by the presence of God even every Red Sea before you soldiers behind you they shall not touch you because the presence of God will, will, will invade the presence of God will prevail in the name of Jesus so tonight I just want us to believe in the presence of God we just call upon the presence of God but before we do that I just want us to tap into, in, into the, 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 uh, the worship we're just going to worship God we're just going to praise him for such a time as this. That Jehovah, even though we found ourselves in this, your word says, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, but your presence shall be with me. You shall strengthen me. So I want you tonight to just open your mouth wherever you are. Just thank God for what he is. Just thank God for what he has done in your life. Just thank God because he has never left you, nor has he forsaken you. Thank God for your children. Thank Thank God for your family. Thank God that you know that his word never returned to him void. If it is his power that shall be released upon your life tonight so that you may be able to encounter the world that the Lord has already assigned over your life. Jehovah, tonight we thank you. Mighty God, tonight we give you praise. We give you glory. Lord, I just want to thank you tonight. I just want to bless your holy name. I thank you for the family, oh Lord, that is watching here tonight. 
Father, I thank you, oh God, that your presence shall move in their midst. I thank you tonight, oh God, that you shall touch them. I thank you, oh Papa, that tonight you shall deliver them. I thank you, oh Lord Jesus, that tonight they shall experience your presence. Tonight they shall experience your power. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for your word that you have released over my life. I thank you for your word that you have released over my family. I thank you for your word that you have released over my children. That, oh God, I know that it shall not return to you void. It shall be manifested. There shall be evidence. I thank you that there shall be evidence in my life. There shall be evidence of your power. There shall be evidence of your grace. Lord, I worship you tonight. I thank you, mighty God. God, I said, oh Jehovah, it is because of you, oh God, that tonight we find ourselves among the living. We thank you that you are the source of life. We thank you that you are the source of joy. We thank you that you are our strength. Tonight we worship you, oh Lord of Lords. Tonight we worship you, oh mighty God. We say, be praised, oh Lord. Let our hearts worship you. Let our hearts worship you. Let our hearts honor you, oh God. God, be worshipped, O Lord of Lords. Be worshipped, O Mighty God. Be worshipped, O Spirit of God. We celebrate you, O Jehovah. We celebrate you, O Mighty God. For you have never left, nor have you forsaken us, O God. For your presence, O Lord, sustain us, O Papa. For your presence, O Mighty God, give us strength, give us life. Tonight, we just want to say thank you, O Lord. We thank you, Mighty God. We thank you, Spirit of God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you that you are here tonight. We thank you that you are moving in our midst. We thank you that you are touching people tonight. We thank you that you are delivering us, oh God. Father, we thank you. Mighty God, we bless you. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory, oh God. We honor you tonight. We honor you tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. So I just want you tonight again to just call upon the presence of God. Wherever you are, just call upon the presence of God to saturate. Call upon the presence of God to fill your houses. Never leave any room empty. Call upon his presence to saturate. Call upon his presence to manifest. I just want you to call upon the overflow of his presence. Because it is only by his presence that we are able to operate in the spiritual realm. It is only by his presence that we get to get to our blessing we get to overcome we get to win come on tonight just open up your mouth call upon the presence of the Lord cry out to the mighty God cry out to the king of kings cry out to the king of glory say Jehovah fill us up tonight Jehovah fill us up tonight fill us with your presence fill us with your glory fill us with your power oh God we need your presence oh God we need your presence so Jehovah, if we are going to be able to overcome tonight, if we are able to going to be able to win, it is by your presence, it is by your power, it is by your glory. Lord, saturate us tonight. Mighty God, saturate us tonight. Spirit of the Lord, saturate us tonight. Oh, Jehovah, may you fill this place with your spirit. May you fill this place with your anointing. May you fill our hearts with your power tonight. Father, we call upon your presence, oh God. We invite your presence tonight. We say, may you reign, O Jehovah. May you reign, O Spirit of God. May you reign, O mighty God. For you are the King of kings. For you are the King of glory, O God. It is you that we cry out tonight. It is your presence that we seek tonight. It is you that we came here to be with, O Lord. As your word says, O Papa, that where two or three are gathered in your name, you are in our midst. Tonight, allow us, O Jehovah, to manifest. Allow us, O God, to manifest the presence in our life. We call upon that presence, O God, that presence that break every yoke, that presence that, O Jehovah, has delivered, O Lord, the Israelite from the Egyptian, that presence, O mighty God, 
that resurrects, uh, that present, oh Papa, that restores. Lord, saturate us tonight. Uh, fill this house with your presence. Uh, fill every room with your presence. Uh, mighty God, let your presence tonight uh, fall upon us, oh Lord. Manifest your presence. Uh, manifest your power. Manifest your glory. Lord, we call upon your presence tonight. Uh, we call upon your presence tonight. Uh, fill us with your power, Lord. Uh, fill us with your glory, Lord. Uh, fill us with your anointing, mighty God. Uh, fill us tonight, oh Jesus. Of, uh, fill us tonight, tonight, oh God. We call upon you, oh Lord. We call upon you, oh Lord. What can we do without you, oh Lord? What can we do without you, mighty God? You are our strength. You are our peace. You are our joy. Come on, tonight just call upon his presence. Call upon his presence. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jehovah, we call upon your presence tonight. We call upon your presence tonight. Your presence, oh God. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain tonight. Let it rain in our houses. Let it rain in our jobs. Let your presence rain in our businesses. Let your presence rain in every environment, oh mighty God, where we find ourselves. Oh Lord, let us not find ourselves alone, but always find ourselves being covered in your presence, being protected in your presence, being saturated in your presence. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We thank you for your presence, O oh Lord. We thank you for your presence, O oh Jehovah. Lord, we bless you. We give you glory tonight. We give you honor tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He is good. He is mighty. He is awesome. So we continue to read in Psalms chapter 9, verse 3. It says, when my enemies turn back, they shall fall and perish. They shall fall and perish. So in the presence of your God. So tonight I want you to pray. I want you to pray and say to you over every plot of the enemy against my life. Every plot of the enemy against my children. Every plot of the enemy against my marriage. Against my finances. At the presence of God tonight they shall fall and die. At the presence of God tonight they shall fall Fall and perish in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, clap your hands wherever you are. Clap your hands and call upon the presence of God to destroy every plot of the enemy against your life. To destroy every plot of the enemy against your destiny. To destroy every plot of the enemy against your job, against your children, against your work. In the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, oh Lord, we Say at your presence, oh God, at your presence, oh God, every plot of the enemy against my life, every plot of the enemy against my destiny, every plot of the enemy against my children, it shall fall and perish, it shall fall and perish, it shall fall and perish in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, you plot of the enemy, you evil doers, oh, real tonight you shall fall and perish tonight you shall fall and perish you do not have hold over my life you do not have hold over my marriage tonight I decree and I declare that at the presence of the Lord at the presence of the most, most high God you shall fall and perish you shall fall and perish you shall not succeed you shall not succeed you shall not overcome me you shall not overcome my life you shall not overcome my husband you shall not overcome the blessing that God has already released over my life all tonight at the presence of the most high God fall and perish fall and perish in the mighty name of Jesus Oh, you plot of the enemy. Oh, you plot of the enemy. You have no power. You have no hold over my life. You have no power. You have no hold over my children. Tonight, fall down and perish. Tonight, hear the word of the Lord and fall down and perish. Tonight, hear the word of God. 
fall down and perish in the mighty name of Jesus. O rebo sakalaba shande, i kalaba yande rebo shata, ma robo si kalaba sante rebo shata, Maria ndele rebo sate, robo shi kanda rebo sata. Oh, they shall perish, they shall perish, they shall perish, they shall fall and perish in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, see them fall. See them perish. See them fall. See them perish. In the mighty name of Jesus. They shall not win over you. It is the year of dominion. You shall dominate despite their wicked ways. You shall dominate despite their plans. You shall dominate despite what they have said. For the presence of God, it is with you oh god father we thank you lord we give you praise we thank you mighty god that no weapon of the enemy fashioned against me shall be able to prosper no weapon of the enemy fashioned against my life against my children shall be able to prosper in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah we are still praying we are still praying we're just going to quickly read also Psalms 68, verse 8. And I will read, it says, The earth shook, and the heaven also dropped rain at the presence of God. Sinai itself was moved at the presence of God, the God of Israel. So tonight, I just want you to believe. I just want you to pray and say, God, at your presence in my life, anything, oh God, that has assigned itself upon my life, I shake it off by the presence of God. Any sickness um, that has made its way around my family, that has made its way around my children, that is seeking, oh God, to devour their lives. Uh, tonight, I want you to say, Lord, by your presence, uh, I shake them off. Uh, I shake them off. Uh, I shake them off uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, come on where you are right now. Uh, open your mouth and pray. Uh, call upon the presence of God um, call upon his presence uh, and shake off uh, shake off uh, anything uh, that has invited itself in your life uh, anything uh, that has invited itself in my family anything uh, that has invited itself in my destiny tonight in the name of Jesus uh, I shake it off uh, I shake it off uh, I shake it off uh, by the presence of God uh, by the presence of God uh, upon my life uh, is shall not stand uh, by the presence of God uh, upon my household uh, it shall not stand uh, by the presence of God uh, upon my children uh, I shook it off tonight uh, I shook it off tonight uh, I shook it off tonight uh, in the name of Jesus uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, oh Jehovah every sickness uh, every trouble uh, every demon uh, every spirit uh, that has invaded my life uh, that has become a resident in my my life that has become a resident in my marriage that has become a resident in my prayer life tonight in the name of Jesus tonight by the presence of the most high God I shake you off I shake you off I shake you off in the mighty name of Jesus I shake it off my life I shake it off my marriage I shake it off my children I shake it off my finances I shake it off my destiny in the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, tonight by your presence in our lives, by your presence in my household, oh God, every spirit of hell, every spirit of the enemy, oh God, we shake it off, we shake it off, come on, shake it off, come on, shake it off, shake it off out of your life, shake it off out of your health, shake it off out of your marriage, in the mighty name of Jesus, Tonight we shake it off, O oh Lord. Tonight we shake it off, O oh God. It has no hold over our lives. It has no hold over our destiny. We shake it off by your power. We shake it off by your presence. We shake it off in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Oh, you alone we know, God. It is by your presence, O oh Lord, that we prevail tonight. It is by your presence, Almighty God, 
that we get to have access, O oh Lord, access, O oh Jehovah, to the good health, access, O oh mighty God, to the good marriage, access, O oh Jehovah, to our businesses, O oh Lord, access to what, O oh God, you have already promised, you have already released. We thank you that it is by your presence that we have access with all that you have for us in store, O oh God. We thank you tonight. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, mighty God. So we're just going to continue praying tonight. We're just going to continue reading in Philippians chapter 2, verse 10. And it says, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. So it is at the calling of the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus, when you call it, it brings the presence of God in your life. It brings the presence of God over your destiny. So tonight, I just want you to repeat after me. I want you to say after me, you sickness, you sickness in my life, in my family, bow, bow. You sickness in my life, in my family, bow, bow. You poverty, you poverty in my household, bow. You joblessness in my life, bow. You joblessness in my life, bow. Command them to bow right now in Jesus' mighty name. Command it to bow. It is at the calling of the name Jesus that every knee, not certain knees, but every knee shall bow. Tonight, Almighty God, I call upon sickness. I command every sickness in my life, over my family, over my siblings, that bow in the mighty name of Jesus, that you bow tonight in the name of Jesus. Every failure, every joblessness, bow at the calling of the name Jesus. Bow at the calling of the name Jesus. I command you tonight in the name of Jesus. I command you to bow. I command you to bow. Bow in the name of Jesus. Oh, you sickness. Oh, you sickness in my family. Oh, you stagnation in my household. Oh, you stagnation in my household. Tonight, in the mighty name of Jesus, I command you to bow. I command you to bow. I command you to bow. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord tonight. Bow in the name of Jesus. Bow in the name of Jesus. Bow over my marriage. Bow over my job. Bow in the name of Jesus. Rebo second and Rebo Shara. Ikelebo Shiana Rabo Sate. Lord, we command tonight. We command every sickness at the calling of the name Jesus to bow as your word says at the calling of the name Jesus every knee shall bow Lord I call upon your name in my life I call upon your name in my job I call upon the name of Jesus over my children over their health over their studies over my marriage oh Jehovah I call upon your name that every spirit of you that might have invite, invaded my life. Tonight it shall bow to the calling of the name Jesus. Tonight it shall bow to the calling of the name Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, mighty God. We thank you, Spirit of God. We're still praying tonight. We are still praying tonight. We read Psalms 97, chapter 5, and it says, The mountain melts like wax at the presence of God and the presence of the Lord, the whole God. So tonight I want you to pray and say every mountain before me at his presence I command you to melt. Every mountain in my life at the presence of the most high God, the most king of kings, I command you to bow. Every mountain that you, you can think of or that you have seen that lately even if it is fear, lately even if it is a, a, a fear that you might lose your work, the fear that your oh God you might die so you're just going to command that mountain to melt in the presence of God come on right now open up your mouth and pray 
in the name of Jesus. Lord, we call upon your presence tonight that oh Jehovah, every mountain in my life, it shall melt at your presence. Every mountain, oh God, that has stopped me from moving, that has stopped me from elevating, that has stopped me from seeing my blessing. Tonight at your presence, I command it to melt. I command it to melt, to melt like wax, to melt to nothing, to melt to nothing in the mighty name of Jesus. Every mountain in my health, every mountain in my job, every mountain in my marriage, every mountain in my destiny for me not to encounter the blessing of God tonight by his presence. I say melt, melt, melt by the presence of the Most High God. I command you to melt. I command you to melt. I command you to melt in the mighty name of Jesus. Every mountain, O Jehovah, in my life, every mountain, Almighty God, in my family, every mountain, O Jehovah, in my in-laws, every mountain, Almighty God, before my children, every mountain, O God, before my businesses, every mountain, O Jehovah, before my prayer life, before my church, tonight I pray, tonight I command it that at the presence of the Most High God, Melt right now, melt right now, melt right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, ye ketele rebo sana, marika basi ketele rebo shiada, robo se ketele rebo shata. Oh, Jehovah, we call upon your presence, oh God, your presence to melt every mountain in our lives, your presence, oh Jehovah, to melt every mountain that has been building up. Mountains of fear, oh God. Mountains of fear, oh Jehovah. Tonight at your presence, let them melt. Tonight at your presence, let them melt. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, mighty God. We thank you, Lord of Lords. As we read, we're still continuing with the word of God. It says, Acts 26. I'm in Acts 16, chapter 16, verse 26. I'll read in Jesus' name. It says, And suddenly there came a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prison house was shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, if everyone's chains were unfastened. So tonight I just want you to pray. Some of us, we've just been prisoned. Somewhere we do not know our spirit have been prisoned that we cannot move forward. So tonight by the presence of God, by the presence of God, there shall be an earthquake. I want you to speak an earthquake. Wherever they have kept your spirit, wherever they have kept your blessing, if they have changed your feet, the presence of God shall cause the earthquake to break every chain. The presence of God will cause an earthquake in the mighty name of Jesus. So tonight I just want you to pray. Come on, open up your mouth and pray. Call upon the earthquake. Call upon the presence of God to cause the earthquake wherever they have kept your blessing, wherever they have kept your spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah, we come before you tonight. I say everywhere, oh God, where they have kept my spirit, be in prison, oh Lord. Everywhere they have kept my blessing, be in prison almighty God Jehovah may your presence oh Lord cause the earthquake for my release may your presence almighty God cause the earthquake for the release of my children for the release of my household for the release of my blessing in the mighty name of Jesus Jehovah whatever prison they might have chained my feet they might have chained my neck they might have chained my hands for me not to be successful for me not to go forward forward for me not to be blessed uh, tonight oh Jehovah by the earthquake uh, of the presence of God uh, I break every chain uh, I break every chain uh, I break every chain uh, every prison door has been loosed uh, every prison door has been loosed uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, every prison door has been loosed uh, by the presence of God uh, every chain oh Lord uh, I break it over my life. I break it over my family. I break it over my husband. I break it in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Do you overlet your presence, O oh God? 
cause the earthquake in my life, cause the earthquake in my marriage, cause the earthquake, oh Lord, oh that it may break every chain, that it may break every chain in the mighty name of Jesus. Mari kabasondo lorobo share, rialanda rabo sakabashiondo lorobo sante. Come on, clap your hands and pray. Come on, clap your hands and pray. Command, command every prison door to be loosened. Every prison door to be loosened. In the name of Jesus, the word of God. Say the presence of the Lord caused the earthquake in the prison. Wherever they have kept you, tonight, tonight it is your release day. Tonight by the presence of God, there shall be an earthquake. By the presence of God, there shall be an earthquake. They have tightened your feet. They say you shall not go forward. They have tightened your hand with chains and said you shall not succeed. But tonight, the presence of the Lord shall cause an earthquake. Tonight, the presence of the Lord shall cause an earthquake. An earthquake for your release. Your earthquake for your deliverance. The earthquake for your freedom. Earthquake for your freedom. Earthquake for the freedom of your children. Earthquake for the freedom of your finances. Oh, where they have kept your finances. Where they have kept your joy. Where they have kept your peace. Tonight we call upon the presence of God to cause an earthquake. The presence of God to open the prison doors. The presence of God to cause an earthquake. To break chains. To break chains in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Rikaba Sandele Reboshada, Yekelebo Shakanda Raboshate. Oh, the earthquake for your deliverance tonight. The earthquake for your healing tonight. The earthquake, oh Lord, for your liberation tonight. You shall be free tonight. The earthquake of the Lord, it shall be seen. It shall be manifested in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you tonight. We thank you, mighty God, for we know that your presence, oh God, shall cause an earthquake, oh God, in my life for Jehovah. The presence, oh mighty God, it shall cause an earthquake, oh God, in my work, oh Lord. The presence, oh Lord, the presence, oh mighty God, it shall cause, oh mighty God, from its foundation, oh God, as earthquake shall take place from the foundation, oh God, Jehovah, your earthquake, oh mighty God. The earthquake, oh Lord, from every sickness. Oh, you've been bound for yes in the same sickness. You've been bound in sickness. But the Lord said tonight, from the foundation of your sickness, there shall be an earthquake. From the foundation of your peace, where they have taken it, there shall be an earthquake. In the mighty name of Jesus, you shall not stay in the same situation. The Lord has come for your deliverance. He has come for your healing. He has come for your deliverance. He has come so you can dominate. He has come so you can take over his earthquake tonight. Lord, your earthquake tonight. Your earthquake tonight in my household, oh God. In my household, Jehovah, in my children's school, oh God, everywhere they go, Lord, their environment, oh mighty God, the earthquake of the Lord, it shall be an evidence in our life. The earthquake of God, it shall be an evidence in our destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, we are still praying. We are still praying. And as I read Isaiah, Isaiah 58, verse 6 and it reads is this not the first which i chose to loosen the bonds of the wickedness to undo the bonds of the yoke and to let the oppressed go free and break the yoke so here you you'd understand that god is saying in this time of prayer where i have called you is it not the time that i have called to break every bondage of the enemy in your life every wickedness that keeps on claiming your life that keeps on claiming your marriage oh they're following you everywhere 
where you go. But in this 31 days of prayer, in this second half of the year, the Lord is saying, I will break it. You shall go free. You shall inherit what the Lord has already given you. So tonight I just want you to pray. I want you to pray and say, God, in this 31 days of prayer, loosen every bond, loosen every wickedness, every character of the enemy in me. Jehovah, I break it in the name of Jesus. Set me free, oh God. Set my children free. Come on, open up your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Yahweh, tonight we call upon you, oh God. We speak and we declare. We decree and declare that in this time of prayer, oh God, in this time of prayer, oh God, in this season, oh Jehovah, of the second half of the year, oh Lord, that your power and your presence, Almighty God, shall cause, O oh Lord, every wickedness, O oh Lord, that has bonded itself around my life, that has bonded itself around my marriage, that has bonded itself around my children, to break loose, to break loose, to break loose, in the name of Jesus. Every spirit, O oh God, of the enemy, O oh Lord, that has attached itself over my life, that has attached itself over my husband, Tonight, in the name of Jesus, I command you to break loose. 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 Get lost. Get lost in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah set me free. Mighty God set me free. In this 31 days of prayer, oh God, I pray that you set me free, oh Lord. I pray that you set my family free. I pray that you set my children free. I said that you loosen, oh God. Loose, oh Jehovah. Loose their hold, oh mighty God, over my life, oh Lord. Over my children tonight, oh God. Father, I call upon your power tonight. I call upon your power tonight to break every yoke to break every yoke, to break every yoke of the enemy against my life, of the enemy against my children, of the enemy against my household, of the enemy against my health. In the mighty name of Jesus, Marika basondo lorobo shate, yekende lerebo shika basondo lorobo shata, maraba sekelebo sante lebo shade, ikelebo sianda rabo sate, marika laba sante lebo shate. Marike le boshi ande le bosate, robo si kalaba sante le boshata, riko boshi ande le le bosate, marika yanda la rabosate. Loosen tonight, oh mighty God. Loosen tonight, oh Chiova. Loosen, oh Lord. Loosen, oh mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh Lord, we thank you. Mighty God, we bless you. Father, we give you glory. So I'm just going to read my last scripture for the night. And I will read it in Esther chapter 2, verse 17. And then it reads, Now the king was attracted to Esther more than to any other woman. And she won favor and approval. She won favor and approval more than any other virgin. So he set a royal crown on her, on her head, and made her a queen of Vashti. So if you, under, if you look at the story of Esther, Esther, had, he, she had the presence of God. The presence of God gave her favor. So tonight I just want you to pray. I say, God, by your presence, let your favor, let your favor, clothe me in your favor. That everywhere I go, your presence, your favor upon my life, it is not unnoticed. Everywhere I go, be at my work, let me receive your favor. Be at the business deals that I will be, let me receive your favor. Be every battle that I shall encounter. Mighty God, let me receive your favor. Let the favor of God be the crown that shall be on your head tonight. Let the favor of God cause the victory in your life to take place. So tonight I just want you to pray and call upon his favor. That God let your favor be upon my life. Lord let your favor rest upon me. Let your favor rest upon my family. Let your favor rest upon my children. Tonight almighty God I call upon your favor. I call upon your favor that oh God 
God. Uh, let it be that favor that open up doors. Uh, let it be your favor, mighty God, uh, that everywhere I find myself, uh, that your favor doesn't go unnoticed. Uh, that, oh Jehovah, your favor, oh Papa, rest upon my life. Uh, Lord, I call upon your favor. Let your presence bring me favor. Let your presence bring my household favor. Lord, uh, clothe me tonight in your favor. Clothe me tonight in your favor. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, Yahweh, I call upon your favor tonight. Uh, Spirit of God, I call upon your favor. Favor over my life. Uh, favor over my children. Uh, favor over my household. Uh, favor over my church. Uh, favor over my husband. Uh, favor over my loved ones. Uh, tonight, Almighty God, uh, we call upon your favor. We call upon your favor. Let your favor, oh God, fall upon us tonight, oh Lord. Let your favor, mighty God, rest upon us tonight. Let your favor, oh God, be seen in us tonight. Lord, we call upon your favor. Let your favor, oh God, rest upon my life. Let your favor, oh Yahweh, rest upon my children. Let your favor, oh God, tonight let it rest upon my house. Let it rest upon my children. Let it rest upon my household. In the mighty name of Jesus, we call upon your favor tonight. We call upon your favor tonight. Your favor in our household. Your favor over our children. Your favor over our work. Your favor, mighty God. Let it go before us, oh God. Let it go before us, oh God. Let your favor Favor, mighty God, cause your face to shine upon us tonight. Let your favor, mighty God, cause your face to shine upon my family. Let your favor, oh Jehovah, cause so mighty God, your face to shine, oh Lord, over my children, over my household. Lord, I speak your favor tonight to go before me, oh Lord. I speak your favor, mighty God. Go before my children. I speak your favor, oh Papa, to go before my husband. Let your favor, oh Lord, let your favor, mighty God, rest upon us tonight, oh Lord. Let it rest upon us, oh mighty God. We need you, oh Lord. We need your favor, mighty God. We need your favor, oh Spirit of God. We need your favor, oh mighty God. We need your favor, oh Jehovah. Let your favor take over, oh Lord. Let your favor take over, mighty God. In this season, oh God. In the second half of the year, oh God. Your favor, oh Lord. Release it, oh mighty God, over our lives. Release it, oh Jehovah, over our families. Release it, oh mighty God, over our children. In the mighty name of Jesus, mighty God, tonight, your favor, oh God. Your favor, oh Jehovah. Your favor, oh Lord. Let it go before us, oh God. Let it go beside us, oh God. Let it go all around us, oh God. Hallelujah. May you fill us tonight. Yes, Lord. Fill us with your favor, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In Jesus. Kataya. Fill us with your favor right now, oh God. We trust and believe tonight your favor all around us, all around our life. We trust the favor of God is upon our life. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. What a time we are just having in the presence of God. God bless you, Mama Sylvia, for leading us in this time of prayer. The Bible is telling us in the book of Acts chapter number 26, my God, verses 25. Uh, chapter 16, verses 25. Acts 16, verses 25. The Bible says, at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying, singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. And all of a sudden, the Bible says, suddenly, there was a great earthquake. Come on, somebody. We want, we want to unleash the power of a suddenly in the presence of God in this week, in this month, in this second semester. You are going to declare the power of God's presence. May it activate sudden things, sudden miracles, sudden favors, sudden things out of the common. Come on, things people did not see coming. Things your family did not see coming. Come on, declare it in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father. By the power of your presence, we activate the miracle of suddenly. We 
we activate the miracle of suddenly we activate the miracle of suddenly reso panda rapanda yabake resete lebrasa in the mighty name of Jesus tonight I speak and I declare the glory so prata yaba I activate Jehovah as we are lifting our prayer to you as we are lifting prayers to you we speak the suddenly miracle a suddenly miracle a suddenly miracle a suddenly miracle a suddenly miracle in my house a suddenly miracle in our church a suddenly miracle Jehovah we speak and declare Pasoraka, yende le praso le reba. In the mighty name of Jesus, rekende le ne maso, ratele matolo rabaka. We speak and prophesy in this season, Jehovah, a sudden miracle, a sudden manifestation of my prayers, a sudden manifestation of my hopes, a sudden manifestation of the things I am hoping for in this season, Jehovah. I declare a sudden miracle, a sudden visitation. This I hold, resemanda. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says suddenly there was a great earthquake. It was evidence that God came down. It was evidence that the angels have arrived. It was evidence that the prison were not going to hold them anymore. As I'm lifting up my voice before you today, I decree and I declare the evidence of God's presence. Let it shake every foundation holding you back. Let it shake every foundation delaying your miracle. Let it shake every foundation delaying the answers to your prayer. Let it shake every foundation. I speak and I declare just as it was for Paul and Silas singing hymns and praising and praying to the Lord. The Bible said and suddenly I decree and I declare the shaking of every evil foundation, the shaking of evil, every evil art, the shaking of every evil delay, the shaking of every evil curses. We speak and declare the foundations are shaken, the foundations are shaking, the foundations are shaking. I declare in your house tonight the foundation will shake, the foundation of joblessness will shake, the foundations of failure will shake, the foundation of chronic sickness will shake, the shout, it shall shake, it shall shake, it shall shake. It shall shake we speak and declare 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 it shall shake in Jesus mighty name oh my god what an anointing in this building what a grace in this place we release it in your house and declare in the name of Jesus nothing will hold you no more nothing will hold you no more the chains are falling the chains are falling we decree and declare that nothing will hold you no more the chains are falling nothing will hold you no more the chains are falling we decree and declare nothing will hold you no more hallelujah nothing will hold you no more for the chains are falling the Oh my God, Lebra Sonayama, Ile Reba Satayama Karama Telereba, O Paramasa. Oh, I put my faith in Jesus, my anchor through the rock, my hope and firm foundation. You'll never let me down. I put my faith in Jesus. My anchor to the rock, my hope and firm foundation. You never let me down. Hey, I put my hope in Jesus. My anchor through the rock, ha ha ha. My hope and firm foundation. You never let me. And I anchor through the rock On oh, my hope and firm foundation you never let me down Say I put my faith I put my faith in Jesus My anchor through the rock My hope and firm foundation you never let me Jesus, 
Jesus, we lift your name on high. You are worthy to be exalted. You are worthy to be praised. Honor and glory forever to you alone. We know that the foundations are shaking. Hallelujah. At the mention of your name, every knee will fire. We speak and declare the evidence of your presence in our lives, the evidence of your presence in our homes, the evidence of your presence in all that we are. In this season as the Rama Church, we speak the evidence of your presence, the evidence of your power. We speak it right now. We speak it right now. In the name of Jesus. 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 Katayaba, lesse prata yaba le le basse, rete le le masole na na yama na na ba. My anchor through the rock, oh ye banana ya. My hope and firm foundation, you never let me down. Oh yes, Father, have your way. Tonight we trust you. We believe in you. We know you are the God who answers prayer. And that's why man will come to you. We draw to you, Father, because we know and understand no one has ever failed with having you by their side. No one has ever sunk with you holding their hand. No one has ever been consumed with you holding them in your hand. We believe that even if the fire your people may be facing, even the trials they may be going through, even the tears and the sorrows all around them, we trust you to be our God who shakes the foundation. We trust you to be our King who shakes the foundation. And in this night, oh God, as a church, we trust you and we'll rely on you. Thank you for this anointing and this great moment we've just had. Thank you for the impact it has in people's life right now. Thank you for the impact it has in their houses. Thank you for the impact it has in their family. We speak and declare in the name of Jesus. You are coming out of this. Say, I say again, you are coming out of this. Whatever this means for you, I say you are coming out of this. In the name of Jesus, I declare it again. Whatever this means for you, you are coming out of this. In Jesus' name is our anchor to the rock and our firm foundation. Father, indeed, we can trust in you. We can hope in you. And you are everything to us. Therefore, be glorified and be exalted. King of kings, Lord of lords, Abba, our King, you are worthy, O God. We praise you and love, worship you forever and ever. And the people of God say, Amen, 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 Amen. Glory to God. What a time we have in the presence of God. Beloved, the presence of God is just so tangible in this studio right now. And we believe that it has transcended even in your homes, in your, in your family. And, and I believe there shall be evidence to this presence. There shall be evidence to this presence. The things you will see, the change you will notice, it will bring evidence to this God. I never want to leave you without giving you an opportunity to bring your offering before the Lord. And this evening, once again, you have that offering. You have, before you send it out, make sure I pray pray over it in the name of Jesus. I want to decree and declare in the name of Jesus that your giving is blessed this evening. Father, in the name of Jesus, we hold our giving tonight and declare in the name of Jesus, your people are blessed as they give tonight. We seal our prayer with this offering and declare in the name of Jesus upon the altar of prayer, we are raising this offering. Lord, we say and declare in the name of Jesus, let the offerings and let prayers of God be answered before you. May you be favorable to us in the name of Jesus. Bless every heart that is giving tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we give you praise and glory forever. And everybody says, Amen. God, Rich, bless you. As you do that, the banking details are on your screen. Uh, I'll make sure whatever e-wallets or whatsoever, or even or you can do it uh, uh, via PayPal and, and uh, the, the address for PayPal is just admin at rama.co.za and you can also be able to do it if you are outside of the country the way for you to worship the Lord and give that offering uh, before the Lord. We thank you so much for once again tuning in this evening. Let somebody know that Jesus loved them. Let somebody know that in this season they shall be evidence to this. They shall be evidence to our prayer. They shall be evidence to the things that the Lord himself has begun to do.
Your miracle is on the way. Change is on the way. You are going to rise above it and testify that indeed on the month of July, the Lord catapulted my life, shifted my life, transitioned my life into a season of power and dominion. The second half of the year is being blessed. And we know that your prayers shall not be in vain. We look forward to see you again tomorrow, 7 p.m. in the same place. And we're going to give priority to the YouTube channel. If it helps us to, to reach everybody, make sure you subscribe, make sure you turn your notification on so that we can be able to engage and engage into all that God has in store for us. Great surprises are coming our way in this month of prayer. We're going to have guests. We're going to have people that are coming, leading us in prayer. Just, just a blessing for you and we know that the Lord himself will be able to favor you. The Lord bless you and keep you and he make his face shine over you that tonight is once again a blessing Blessed evening in your family. Let the grace of God and the fellowship of His Spirit be with you until we meet again tomorrow. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed and everybody says amen and amen. So see you tomorrow 7 p.m. We love you.